Hey guys, so today this is not a makeup tutorial, just putting that out there. I mean, I'm kind of showing you what I'm doing, but this is out there for that whole the hashtag power of makeup thing that's going on about how people are saying like <sighs> girls look way different with makeup on and it's kind of just like, well duh, like, <laughs> but this is for the people that are trying to say that like it's lying to wear makeup or you're different when you wear makeup or makeup is wrong because of this and that and blah 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 no this is to show that it's not and i hope you guys all enjoy this is the look that i'll be doing today i'll only be doing th this side of my face i think i did this side in the video <laughs> this side of my face in the video and then obviously i did the rest of my makeup because i'm not just gonna walk around with one side of my makeup done but I'm gonna do the one side it's not a makeup tutorial so if you're looking for a makeup tutorial this is not it this is me showing you how makeup changes how you look compared to when you don't have makeup on so I will be comparing both sides of my face I will cover up the one side and show you so you'll see that it does it makes a big impact so I really hope you guys enjoy and we're gonna get started now Okay, so I'm going to start with moisturizing my face with um, the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, I am going to moisturize my whole face because obviously I'm going to do my whole face eventually, but right now I'm only going to do the half of it. But first, I'm going to make sure I don't have leftover makeup from the other day underneath my eye. And I took a shower and washed it off, but you know how it is with mascara and stuff. Um, you know, just the little things you got to do. And I know it looks like I have no eyebrows, but okay, like I said, I'm going to moisturize my whole face so I don't have to try to moisturize the whole thing later, but the reason you moisturize is one, it helps keep your skin all nice and everything, and two, it's kind of like, um, I use moisturizing almost as a primer for uh, my makeup, I just put it everywhere all over my whole face plus it also helps get that little leftover makeup off from the day before my mirrors right here if I didn't say that already which I doubt I did um yeah and then I'm gonna go in with my covergirl clean oil control um foundation in the color 510 which is classic ivory oops and that's that get rid of the glare I can't <laughs> okay I'm just gonna pour some onto my knee because I'm wearing shorts so it's just easier that way oops too much I'll, I'll figure that out when I use too much of this I always scoop it back up into it later after I get done so I'll do that later when I get done okay so only the one side this is gonna be hard I probably need to put less than I usually do because normally I blend it out onto the other side of my face as well. And I put it onto my eyes as well, kind of just to even out everything. And the reason that you put foundation on is because it helps just even out your whole skin tone it gets it makes you look like your skin's all one color <laughs> usually that's normally what it's supposed to do um like i said it evens it out because i'll show you in just a second when i get done putting it on you'll be able to tell the evenness aside from my other side of the face And you get it all the way up into your hairline, and I'm trying to make that even line right there so it's easier to tell later. Oops, and all my hair wants to go like this. I'm grab another bobby pin and bobby pin that all back. Okay, that keeps most of that all back. And I go over my eyebrows and everything too, just like I said, it makes it all even, all one hopefully all one tone all 
one canvas kind of it just evens out your canvas I hope you can tell because my lighting's weird but let me see eh, after I blind myself um yeah this side of my face is a little bit mo more how it should be this side's more oily and red and textured and all that stuff it's easier to tell when I'm back here and it's gonna be easier to tell when I finish because I didn't really do much I normally put a lot on so it's more noticeable I'm trying to do my makeup how I normally do it but it's so weird only doing it on one side like I said I'm so used to like blending it onto the other side as well so not so I don't have to be safe about how much I put on but now I kind of have to be because I can't blend it over onto the other side yet <laughs> ah, and then my hair wants to fall out and I normally just do the stippling motion with the sponge because I know if you guys have watched my other videos I was kind of really leery about trying the sponge and I did just like I'm pretty sure everyone else has tried it and I actually found it pretty actually found it pretty useful Okay. So that's probably as good as that's going to get, but you can see this side of my face is a little bit more white. This side's still kind of blotchy, and now you can really see it. I know I can, so hopefully you guys can. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You can see it. <clears throat> um, I usually don't use my green concealers often anymore, and actually this is just green lipstick by Lovely Girl in the color oh, it's kind of cool the color is oh, stupid lighting the color is um, about that I can't want the lighting the color is Kristen that's funny that's really close to my name so that's funny you switch the I and the E Kristen <laughs> that's cute I never noticed that because I never really looked okay but my green one I normally go like this and give myself little whiskers almost or war paint really and I put it right here in the corner and then Oh, I forgot I wasn't doing this side of my face. <laughs> I knew I was going to mess up. <laughs> I just forget that I did that. Okay, and then I do right there. Because it's really red right there. I messed up, guys. I messed up. I'm sorry. Alright, so then I kind of blend this out with my finger first. I think it'll kind of get it where it's got to go. There's a black right there. Um, and the reason you do this one is it gets green counteracts the red and it helps get rid of the redness in your skin. I can't tell if this is making it too bright or not. Mm. Nope, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, blind for a second. Okay, uh, I'm trying to show you if I can rub it in. Okay, so at first you can kind of, you go over it with concealer afterwards, but <clears throat> as you can see, this side is less red and this side is more red. Less red. More red. <laughs> um, less. More. See, it's still all red right here. It's not red right here. Or like really how it's red right here, but not right there. Okay. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I just use my e.l.f. eyeshadow, and I use these two, oops, if I can get it up there, these two, the um, black and gray, these ones, this one, and that one, I touched it, and I use this little brush, which looks kind of like so. Alright, so I go with my black first, and I kind of just carve out the shape that I want, which really, honestly, I just follow the shape of my eyebrows. <laughs> Not too hard. You see that? Yeah, okay, cool. 
and I feel like when I do this on camera my eyes always my eyebrows look like sharpie but it's not I don't know why it wants to look like that but it's not and it's weird but the reason you do your eyebrows is because it kind of just makes them look better you know you kind of just color them in make them look good I do mine because I don't look as you can tell this one doesn't look like it's there really and my eyes my hair is black now so I kind of got to match my brows to my hair I know it was like the thing whenever you'd have different colored eyebrows like black hair people would have like blonde eyebrows blondes would have like super dark eyebrows but I like mine to match it's just me it's just how I like it if you don't like it like that that's cool and then I go in with the gray and kind of just color it in you know make it blend but then I go back with the black when I'm done with that and color in my tail darker because I like the tail to be darker and honestly my eyebrows actually look better as the day goes on I'm gonna be honest <clears throat> I noticed like when I put my eyebrows on I'm like Ugh, they're okay like I can deal with it but then towards the end of the day like at night after they've been on for hours I'm like man they look good <laughs> so normally that's something that gets better with time and then I kind of just fade Oops. I kind of just fade all of this in the front so it just kind of blends that's what that looks like way different from this eyebrow <laughs> just saying and then I go in with my little cons my little angled brush you guys can see that and my elf cover everything concealer which if I take this part off it's easier to see looks like this now because it's all used up and I kind of just carve out my eyebrow because this gives it more it cleans it up too but most of the time I don't have to really clean it up because I've done it for so long that I guess I'm just lucky um, but when you do have to clean it up make sure you wipe it off otherwise you're just gonna drag the black around I should have done the other side of my face you guys could have seen it better normally I have my mirror on the other side of the camera but I'm using a different system now because if you guys watched my last video my systems crashed and then I do the top this kind of just I feel like it adds more definition I've seen it on other makeup tutorials and whatnot the first time I saw it um, the youtuber Kristen Leanne did it and I was like that's kind of cool and I was like I'm gonna try that and I never like I never really had to clean it up too much but I was like that's a great way to clean it up and I did a couple times because sometimes you know you still mess up luckily this time I didn't <laughs> but sometimes you still do but I noticed that even when I don't when I do that it makes them more defined if that I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do but that's what I feel like it does and then I kind of just do the tip of the tail like right on the outside of it more defined and then I kind of clean that up you don't want the concealer just sitting there and then I do this side and this normally when I do it right here <clears throat> on the front part of it I kind of go this way onto it and then when I clean it up I also go like this and it kind of fades it out too and I kind of just yeah. that's that side of my face so far this side of my face so far yeah. so you're seeing the difference already right <laughs> um okay so oh I don't have to do the rest of my face with concealer. I almost forgot. So I kind of clean off that brush just in case that there's black all over it. <clears throat> and then I go <clears throat> with about this, oops, this much underneath my eye. But I do it on the opposite side of where I put the product. And I kind of try to go up into like <clears throat> under my brow right here, onto my bridge and my nose. Come this way. Then I start using the other side. Fill in that triangle. Come up above on this side, still fill it in. Oops, don't get it in your eye like I just almost did. And then you're gonna put it on right here, right there. I have some right here, some zits and everything, some redness still right there. What is it right there? Um, I'm gonna put little spots over where I did the green concealer. I'm not gonna completely fill it in, just little spots and stuff. I feel like you guys can't see me because I'm so freaking pale. <laughs> Then I'm going to go back with the sponge and kind of just dab all that out. 
And concealer, it gets rid of the redness, it can cover zits, um, it kind of just, it evens it out even more. Um, the under the eye gets rid of the dark circles under your eyes. Um, and I put it right there because it covers up that green, so it's not so green. Now it's more skin toned. I mean, normally it's not, but I put on a little more than I probably should have. And you kind of just like blend this all in. You stipple it on there. And just blend. Not that hard, right? And I got a little piece right there. Remember I said I got it in my eye, that hurt. Okay. And I saw this new trick that I want to try about putting the red underneath your eyes to get rid of um, under eye circles. I want to try it. I haven't yet. So that should be fun. And then I'm going to take my CoverGirl loose powder in the color 105, which is translucent fair. <clears throat> and I use this little thing and just pat it onto my face. And I pat it because if you don't, then it kind of just moves everything that you just put down. And it's kind of like almost a waste. I even kind of put some over my eyebrows because it kind of lightens them and makes them look a little bit more natural instead of just like this black thing on my face so I don't have a black caterpillar sitting there. And the powder is to help, <coughs> sorry, the powder is to help um, set everything you just put. And then if I can find my contouring brush, okay, I take my Estee Lauder foundation brush, which looks like this, and my I don't have my contouring kit right now because in the middle of my move I lost it. So I just use the Pixi Beauty Bronzer in the color Summertime, which looks like this. It's all broken from moving. <clears throat> and I just use a little less of that than I would normally. And my mirror stops moving. Just contour my cheeks. underneath my chin this up on my eyebrow and you do this kind of to add depth into your face and I actually forgot to highlight I usually do forget <laughs> um, I do it on my nose connect it up to my eyebrow not too dark um, and I do it underneath my nose and this I can't just do on a side so it's gonna be like right there um, underneath the chin, I'm not going to do it completely, I'm just trying to do it on the one side. Um, so that's the contouring. You can already see like this side looks more structured and this side just looks, phew, watch, cheekbones, no cheekbones, cheekbones, no cheekbones, <laughs> okay. And then my blush, which I'm just using, I can't remember what it's called because it doesn't have a name on it. No name. <laughs> so it's just blush, pink blush. That's all it looks like. Pink blush. Just put that right onto my cheekbone. Like usual. Where your blush goes. <laughs> Alright. And then even though I forgot to highlight, I'm still going to put the e.l.f. shimmer in the color, I think it's just gold. Yeah, color gold, which looks like a this. And I just kind of put that on my cheeks. I put a lot on my cheeks normally. But normally I already have highlight under it. And the highlight is because if you highlight, I mean, if you um, contour, you got to highlight, right? You gotta do it together. It's just how it goes. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Stupid mirror keeps moving. <clears throat> All right. And then, usually I would use my e.l.f. primer, but since I'm not really planning on leaving it on for a long time, I'm not going to. And then I go back to my e.l.f. palette that I showed you earlier. And I go back and forth between, where's my other brush? I didn't grab my other brush. 
Oopsies. I think I was missing something. There it is. <laughs> Working for my brush. I go back and forth between my e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush and my um, Bare Essentials Max Coverage Concealer Brush, which is these, to do my eyes. And I'm just going to do basic colors right now. Kind of. This is like a neutrally purple, if that makes sense. And I kind of just put this on there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do like a weird smoky eye thing. Because I can. And I'm not too careful with it yet. Because I'm going to fix it. And then I'm going with a gray color. <clears throat> and put that in the crease. On this side only. And eyeshadow, I think, is pretty self-explanatory as to why you use it to find your eyes. You can mess around with it, play with it, make it look different, all that cool stuff. And then I'm kind of blending it more this way and filling in this side. I'll do more in-depth on this look a different day. And I'm taking the black and kind of just defining it all. But I'm not going to go in depth on what I'm doing exactly because it's not what this video is for. And then underneath my eye with the black. Because if you guys want a tutorial on this, let me know. <clears throat> I know right now it looks all gross, but I'm going to fix it, trust me. Alright. And then. <coughs> <clears throat> um, before I do my eyeliner and everything, I'm going to go in the, the um, CoverGirl Professional um, Mascara Pencil, Natural Lash Mascara, which is just the clear mascara stuff. And I feel like when you put this on first, it kind of helps with your lashes. I normally put it on my eyebrows too, but since my eyebrows are so short right now, I don't bother. But this kind of helps make them a little bit longer and a little bit more defined and stuff. And it helps the mascara stay on longer. Or at least in my experience it does. Alright, so if I put it on like right before I put on my mascara, my mascara is not going to stay on. <clears throat> so that's why I put it on now. And then I go in with my uh, Revlon Photo Ready Intense Eyeliner in the color... Ooh, it says it's Blue Nile, but... This is 334. It says Blue Nile, and I think that's because it has both colors on it, but I'm going to go in with the white side and just do it in the corners of my eye. And this highlights your eyes and makes them look a little bit bigger. Oops. <sighs> Stupid me. <sighs> Again. Sorry, I turned just to do the one side, and then I forget. I get so into it, but I just forget. Um... Where'd my eyeliner go? Oh yeah. I'm gonna go with my angled eyeliner brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to go in with Love and Beauty Gel Eyeliner in the color black. And I think eyeliner's kinda self-explanatory too. It just kinda makes your eyes look a little better. Highlights your eyes. That's just the top lid. And then I'm going to go in with my Bella Pierre gel eyeliner in the color Ebony. And I'm going to do just right there. About to the middle-ish. And then I do my tight line, which is the top part. So you kind of just lift and put it there. Alright. And now, mascara. 
and I'm using the <coughs> I feel like something stuck in my throat. It's Sante mascara in the color black. I know my eyes look weird right now. Wait till they're on. Trust me. My weird faces. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. I'm only doing the one side of my lips. Alright. Oh. So I'm gonna go in with the Choroma makeup in the color Baby Dolly, which is just pink. And then I'm going to go in with Tarte in the color, uh, natural matte lip tint in the color, um, Lively. about halfway okay so now we're gonna do <clears throat> this no makeup makeup do you see the difference I do this side is a little bit more dramatic a little bit more playful you know normally what people are used to seeing especially on me this side tired no eyebrows, no cheekbones, nothing. This is what I look like naturally. Makeup. No makeup. And I'm not saying one side is better than the other. I like myself with and without. But this is what the makeup challenge is because everyone is saying that make. <sighs> I got foundation on my hand. And now it's like in my hair and stuff. Oh. Oops. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what the makeup challenge is about, is showing the power of makeup. Um, I am going to put the rest of my makeup on, and I will be right back. Alright guys, so, now I got the rest of my makeup on and everything, and hopefully I said that I'm going to go put my makeup on, <laughs> otherwise you guys are like, ah! So this is the finished look. Now that I have both sides of my face looking good. <laughs> um... I know sometimes it's hard to see it with my glasses on. But yeah, this is a finished look. And so, honestly, what I hope you guys get out of this is stop judging people because they wear makeup and it makes them look different. That's what makeup does. So get over it. Okay? Because all this whole, girls are lying when they wear makeup, it's getting ridiculous. And I'm done hearing it. I mean, I hear it all the time. So, whatever. Just be done with it. Um, be on the lookout for my next upcoming videos. I don't know exactly what they're going to be, so I'm not going to say because I mean I have ideas of what I'm going to do. But and I have some more getting to know me tags that I'm going to probably do just so that you guys can get to know me a little better. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right, bye guys. <laughs>